absolutely fantastic in that front row and really spearheaded the platform for Argentina. But on a day like this where we've had 50 points or the best part thereof scored by Argentina, I think it has to be an outside back that gets the prize and my killing man of the match is Santiago Cudero. Yes, he's been a real star in 2015. Great hands there from Milner Scotty. You could say the same of him. Nandolo picking up the offload up to the oh, Argentina 22. There's Kerbis Reiner on to Sopoanga. There's a numerical advantage out wide if Hansen can find them. Matt Phil, basketball style, to his old mate Bucky's. Can the Barbarians finish with a flourish? Final minute. Fardy. On to Sopoanga. Scooped out there to Pat Lambie. Surely this time, Matt Field. It's almost two on one. Into McIntosh. Hanson picks up. Surely now. Victor Matfield. It could have been scripted. Well, wonderful to see the big man get over in the corner. I'm going to be honest, I think McIntosh will be more relieved than anybody after flurry. The one of those simple two on one things. But brilliant, wasn't it, from the Barbos? And you see, as the Argentina team just, just come off the gas a little bit and their intensity wanes a little, just a small amount, well, that's all it takes, isn't it? Milner Scudder's skill on the outside there. With a little reverse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The mat field it was. He's both there. Huh? He's taking the kick. Well, we are about to enter pantomime season. He's undoubtedly the villain. Yes, the pantomime villain of rugby for the last decade and a half. Jud judging by just the first time he's ever used a kicking team. Oh, I do hope he kicks it. Just rather hoping it doesn't prove to be an air shot. I think 10, 15 percent. Well, he's taking it rather seriously. Or at least I thought he was taking it seriously. Two spirit 